Hello and welcome to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Reuter, and this podcast is brought to you by TheLegendaryChiropractor.com, an interactive and immersive virtual platform for prospective chiropractic students, current chiropractic students, recent chiropractic school graduates, and even veteran doctors of chiropractic out in the field wanting just a little bit more from this profession. I hope that you enjoy today's episode, and if you do, be sure to share with a friend, leave us a rate, leave us a review, and also be sure to subscribe to get more. Cairo HD, superior cloud-based practice management software. Cairo HD is a user-friendly, all-in-one EHR solution built with one mission to help you run your practice like a boss. Learn more at CairoHD.com. Dr. Brad Glowacki runs one of the highest volume, highest profile, highest profitability practices in the world. And it's all run with vitalistic communication procedures. Those procedures from his office are then shared with other chiropractors at his various trainings as a part of Level Up Mentoring. This information is created, developed, tested, and then packaged simplistically before being taught. With bruises and scars from making mistakes, Dr. Glow always delivers refined content that is battle-tested and simplified for use on Monday. To level up your life and practice, head over to levelupmentoring.rocks. That's levelupmentoring.rocks. Total Clinic Solutions is your go-to source for purchasing both brand new and refurbished chiropractic equipment, as well as phone support for repairs and maintenance. Call Derek and allow him to combine your wishes and his 23 years of chiropractic equipment expertise to find what's best for you and your patients at 704-622-4089 or head to TotalClinicSolutions.com now. Easily share your passion for chiropractic and look good doing it with Above Down Apparel, offering a premium lineup of principled apparel that's impossibly soft, sustainably sourced, and chiropractic AF. Visit AboveDown.co and follow them on Instagram to learn more and score yourself some sweet chiro swag. To Inspire Women is the elite boutique coaching company for chiropractors who are looking to live life and run business in a way that is personal, unique, and authentic. They focus on business systems and money mindset mastery so you can pay down debt, be more profitable, and serve more people. Their goal is to empower you to achieve success by your own rules and your own definition. Head to toinspirewomen.com now because they know there's a better way. Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. Awesome. What's up, beautiful people? Um, I uh, just got back. I was on the road for a little bit. um, And that's a little bit of a reason why I'm wearing (laughs) the same shirt I was wearing on Wednesday when I shot my last video. But happy Saturday. Happy weekend. I hope all of you have a phenomenal day today and rest of your weekend this weekend. And I wanted to come to you live today to break down the three key pillars of chiropractic, what that means to you, especially my chiropractic students. So at the beginning of every month, like we're going to reiterate this a little bit. So at the beginning of the month, we're going to have two main topics, one for chiropractic students and one for chiropractic doctors. We're going to focus on the chiropractic student at the beginning of the month and focus on the chiropractic doctor near the end of the month. So we're gonna split the month in half, we're gonna have two main topics, um, but we're gonna have subtopics, four subtopics for each students and each doctors each month so that you can best get all of the knowledge and things that we have to share with you um, ready right in front of you and available. That's what we call over here, the legendary chiropractor, tangible, tangible 
resources because we want you to know, we want you to understand, and we want to help you reach whatever goals that you want to reach in your chiropractic journey and career, right? So I love and appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate your support on these videos. Comment below. Let me know if this stuff is valuable. I want to make sure that we are creating great content and valuable content that you actually use, right? We talked about this in the first video that you begin to set actions, take actions, right? Um, I actually just got a great quote from uh, Dr. Jagger Knight Bryant this morning from a book he's reading. It said, quit dipping your toe in the water and quit testing the temperature, right? You have to jump in. Just go for it. Just do it. Whatever it is, right? If it's chiropractic school, if it's studying for an exam, if it's taking boards, if it's um, starting a business, if it's starting a practice, if it's, it's associating and finding a job, if it's posting your job, your, your associateship, right? If it's your associate opportunity, um, please just jump in, do it, right? We want you to, to literally take your message, take your voice and bring it to the masses because more people, we need more chiropractors, number one, first and foremost, but we also need more, um, we need more people under chiropractic care. And if we don't get the big message here, they will never get the big message, right? So we need to make sure that we are super diligent at providing you guys here at The Legendary Chiropractor and in this group with great, valuable content. And then from here on out, it's going to just be just be um, plugging away at the, the basics of chiropractic for our students, how to really adapt and grow early on in your chiropractic career. And then it's going to be for our doctors of chiropractic, how to be most successful when you graduate right? That transition period between student and doctor. And then how do you be most successful as you step into either an associateship or opening up your own practice, right? So we want to help you along your entire journey. There's a link up above. Please click that link, guys. Check it out. Um, head to our new website, create an account. It's totally free for both students and doctors. And we have so much content like what I'm doing right now on that website for you. We also have a job board, a seminar board, um, that students and doctors can post to, right? So how cool is that, that both students and doctors can post to these things um, and share what they're attending and what other they think other students are might be interested in. So today, we are talking about and breaking down the three pillars of chiropractic. The three pillars of chiropractic are the uh, philosophy, the science, and the art. And we put them in that very specific order for a major, major reason, because we believe, we believe here at the Legendary Chiropractor that nothing should come before philosophy, but it, nothing should come before chiropractic, I should say chiropractic philosophy, right? One of our slogans here, the uh, Legendary Chiropractor is defend the principle, right? So we're all about chiropractic philosophy and the 33 principles. And I get it. A lot of, a lot of groups out there, a lot of people out there are like, you know what? This is, stuff is crap. It's, it's garbage. It's a bunch of, you know, gibberish. BJ wrote, you know, over a hundred years ago. And that's fine and dandy, right? Let them do, to do their thing and, and run their course. That's fine with me. Um, I'm not here to get in conflict and battles. I just think that what we should not necessarily focus on right now, like you don't need to go out and memorize a green book or all of the green books, right? Um, but what you need to focus on is where chiropractic comes from. Where does chiropractic come from? And then if you want to branch into different directions and sectors of chiropractic and your healing choice through chiropractic care, that is completely up to you, right? I'm not going to control how you practice. I'm not going to control how you, how you communicate. I'm not going to control any of that. But I'm just saying we should have a solid foundation and base to the chiropractic philosophy so that we can move forward and advance ourselves as a profession. SCED is the all-in-one system that allows for amazing control and flexibility of your scheduling. Yes, your next new hire. Every aspect of when and where you service your customers is at your command. SCED is tightly integrated with your existing EHR system. This software was made by a chiropractor specifically for chiropractic. No joke. Go check out their latest care plan feature by heading to go.sked.life/ Legendary Pod. 
Every chiropractic clinic needs a compliance program. If you are not sure what that includes or why you need one, let Dr. Robin from RHDC Consulting help you build your chiropractic compliance. If you are ready to get started, head to robin hailmykajabicom and let Dr. Robin guide you to the end result. Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. Because if we don't understand our past, we can never move forward. If you don't understand what you did wrong or what you did right in the past, chiropractic will never move forward. And that is where I have a huge disconnect with what people are doing in different groups and, and pushing this message uh, uh, forward and through. And it's like all about the science and the evidence and the science and the evidence and the science and the research. And it's like, great, great. But if we didn't discover chiropractic, if we didn't develop chiropractic, if we didn't have 33 principles of health, healing, and chiropractic, we would not be anywhere to develop, maintain, and, and push out research, science, and evidence. We wouldn't have a leg to stand on. Without the chiropractic research, or without, sorry, the chiropractic philosophy, I apologize, we wouldn't have the chiropractic research. We wouldn't have the chiropractic even thought of researching on um heart variability and on immune function. Like, yeah, I don't care if these political groups are battling it out because, you know, one says we help immune, one says we don't. Whatever. That's their problem. That's not our that's not my problem, right? My problem is is we need to focus on the past and understand what we did right and understand what we did wrong in the past and our chiropractic philosophy and where we come from and the 33 chiropractic principles to understand where to go now in the future, right? If you don't know your past, this is why a lot of psychologists, um, psyche, um, psychologists, psychiatrists, right? All of these people who are so into mental health and mental health awareness, right? Um, and and they what they do is they tap into your childhood psyche, right? They tap into what damages were done in your childhood. The same the same goes for chiropractic. Let's learn from what we did right and what we did wrong in our chiropractic philosophy, and what leg we stand on when we go to now this, the second pillar of chiropractic, which is the science, the research, the evidence, right? To prove what we do works, right? And, and I don't, I, it, it drives me nuts that there's always two different groups of everything. There's always this half and this half. And there's always, there's always, always, always been that. And it drives me crazy, right? If we're ever going to express our opinions to the, to the, uh, to, to the world and to the public, if we're ever going to lead and actually put ourselves in the front lines of this health revolution that we are about to experience, ladies and gentlemen, if we don't put ourselves first in the health revolution that we are about to see after COVID-19, we are dust. We are lost, right? But we have to have an understanding of the 33 chiropractic principles. We have to understand where BJ was coming from. We have to understand where Didi was coming from, where Sid Williams was coming from, Fred Barge, uh, 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 Reggie Gold, Irene Gold, right? Mabel Palmer, right? All of these great legends. We have to understand where they were coming from first and foremost in order to move forward and adapt. That's what we do. That's what chiropractic preaches. We preach adaptability. You can't be a self-healing, self-maintaining, and self-regulating system and organism and human being if you don't have the concept and the ability and the physiology and anatomy of adaptation. That has to come, that has to come first. You have to be able to adapt. And now I'm talking and applying this to chiropractic. I'm saying we have to be able to adapt here. We have to be able to adapt here. We have to be able to adapt here, right? The mind, the heart, and the gut that we talk so much about at the legendary, here at the Legendary Chiropractor, right? So we have the philosophy, right? We need to look back. If you don't want to, you know, 
read a green book. If you don't want to read a green book, that's fine. They're heavy. And they typically, <laughs> they were written over 100 years ago, if not longer. They typically don't make much sense unless you're willing to put in the work to study it and understand where the heck BJ was coming from, right? But I would say at least get yourself a copy of Stevenson's 33 Principles. Start there, right? Get your principles and understand them. Actually, you can go to thelegendarychiropractor.com and check out our blog. We have a blog that broke down all 33 chiropractic principles for you. And that's literally all the blog is. It's a blog post that has one through 33 chiropractic principles. And you just, I want you to read them and try to understand them right? To the best of your ability and apply them to your life, your chiropractic journey. I don't care if you are the best freaking pain doctor in the world and symptom treater in the world as a chiropractor, or if you are the NET emotional Reiki chiropractor that, you know, balances energy. I don't care what side of that spectrum you are on or fall on. All I care about is that you go and check out the 33 principles, read through them multiple times and just sit with them, let them sink in, let them digest and then understand and see if you can apply them to your life, your practice and your patients and your practice members. That's what I want you to do. So that's number one, philosophy, philosophy. We're never going to heal what we have to heal if we don't understand our past and where we come from. The second thing is science. Science is so important. Right, I see so many chiropractors post on, on Facebook and I see all these people posting on, on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and they're, you know everyone gets in fights and it's like, it's like that's not evidence-based. Where's the research? Show me the research. But it's, it's, it's not a lack of research. That's the problem, okay? I want that to be very clear. It's what you and your groups that you are affiliated with will consider to be valid research and valid evidence. Okay. So I want you to understand that a lot of people will say, where's the, where's the research? Where's the background? How do you say we, in how do you say we, uh, we help with heart rate variability? How do you say we help with colic? How do you say we help with all these things? What do you deem as research? What do you think of when you, when you think of chiropractic research, what do you think of and a lot of people on one side of our, our profession will say, well, that's a double blind randomized control study. Impossible in chiropractic, some will argue, right? It's very, very difficult to get that kind of research done through chiropractic and with the usage of chiropractic care. But then we have the other side of, of, of the, the chiropractic profession that'll say, we don't need research. Screw science. <laughs> What science? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> we have proven things in physiology and anatomy that we need to understand in order to apply our healing efforts to our patients and our practice members, right? That we need to understand in order to advance the chiropractic profession, okay? So you, I, I highly, highly recommend that you get off of the extremist sides of things and you take a neutral stance and say, okay, you know, what am I, what research, what evidence am I considering valid and credible research and evidence? Is that some people will say case studies, some people will say testimonials, and some people will only say randomized double blind control studies, right? So I want you to ask yourself that question when it comes to the science of chiropractic. What do you deem as valid and critical and, and credible research? Okay? And then move forward from there because science, as we know, is always changing. Science is meant to change. Science is meant to catch up with theories and... Dr. Stu Hoffman, founder and president of ChiroSecure Malpractice Insurance, is the foremost expert in both risk management and risk avoidance. Understanding the everyday challenges of today's practicing chiropractor and the current public perception of chiropractic has made ChiroSecure the fastest growing malpractice insurance program of the last 28 years. 
Find out more at chirosecure.com. Imaging Services' primary business is chiropractic solutions. With over 45 years in the industry of helping chiropractors, Michael Tokash offers free consultations on building your business. In the past year, Imaging Services has installed over 100 x-ray machines and digital x-ray systems in over 42 states across the United States. For more, head to theimagingservices.com. Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. And hypotheses. That is the whole entire point of science. Science doesn't lead the charge. Science follows the charge. Okay? Science doesn't lead anything. We don't do anything due to science. We do science due to thoughts, hypotheses, and theories. Okay? So if we never had the idea to come up with some of these things we have in science and technology, we would have never developed science and the technology to go along. Does it make some sense? So with that being said, I want you to highly consider playing a very uh, Switzerland role and neutral role in regards, in regards to science of chiropractic. What are you going to consider evidence-based chiropractic? What are you going to consider chiropractic research, right? So consider all of those things in regards to that, okay? So the last thing I want to talk about, the last thing I want to mention here is this, this idea or the third pillar of chiropractic, which is your chiropractic art, we talked all about this. This is one of my favorite ones. And we talked all about this when it came to getting as hands-on as a chiropractic student as much as possible. So this is your chiropractic seminars. This is your um, palpation. This is your uh, on-campus clubs. Um, this is your off-campus seminars and meetings and shadowing doctors, et cetera, et cetera. So we want you to be as hands-on as possible. Now, again, <laughs> I have to throw a disclaimer out there, and we are not telling you to go out and adjust without your chiropractic license. That's not at all what we're telling you. But what we are telling you is to palpate and get your hands on as many spines as possible, as many extremities as possible, so you know what normal feels like, and you know what abnormal feels like. You know what restriction feels like. You know what motion feels like. You know what malposition feels like. You know what normal position feels like. Okay? So those are all three of the chiropractic pillars, starting with philosophy, understanding it. Um, second coming is science, right? Playing a neutral role in this. Understanding what you yourself deem as credible and valid research. And when you figure that out, go out and find it for those members, practice members and patients that are going to be wanting it, as well as those friends and family and loved ones that are going to press you on some issues that are also going to be wanting it. And then provide them with that. Whatever you deem is valid and credible research. Don't get, it, don't get caught on the extremist ends of things. The third thing is the art. Get as hands-on as much as possible, not only in chiropractic school, um, uh, on campus, but even off of campus as well, okay? So I love you guys. I hope that this was valuable. If you're just joining us, please go back and watch this. I went on a super, super duper uber <laughs> tangent and soapbox moment. Um, so please go back and watch this from the beginning. We got a lot of good content coming for you guys. I hope these are valuable videos for you. Um, if they are, I would love some support and share in the comments what you learned in this video um, or what you're going to start applying and taking those action steps for your chiropractic student future, right, um, and journey. So I love and appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you click that link above legendarychiro.com or legendarychiropractor.com. Head there, become a member for free, either a student or a doctor member, completely for free. Post on our job board, post on our seminar board, and get involved in our legendary community as much as you can. I love you guys, and I will see you on the flip side. Love you. Peace and love. Bye, guys.
Again, I'm your host, Johnny Ruder, and you're listening to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you for engaging with us on all of our platforms, including, but not limited to, Facebook and Instagram, all at The Legendary Chiropractor. Be sure to check our home site out at thelegendarychiropractor.com as we have much to offer for prospective chiropractic students, current chiropractic students, recent chiropractic school graduates, and even veteran doctors of chiropractic out in the field. And lastly, I'd like to thank not only you, our listener, but also our podcast sponsors. Without them, this show wouldn't be possible. So I encourage you to go check out their websites and what they have to offer in the show notes for this episode. Thanks again. Stay legendary, my friends.